Hi guys! In this video I want to show you how I do peritoneal dialysis. As you might know there's different types, types of dialysis uh, but this one does not involve blood or needles which I'm very thankful for. <laughs> it's uh, quite gentle on the body personally I like it. I just want to give you a general idea of what it looks like for a person like myself to do dialysis on a daily basis. Hands. And I use this during the day just to cover my machine, but at night this actually has a use and I'm going to show you guys later how I use this. I got to sanitize with water, uh, with a mix of water and Clorox, so I'm going to put some gloves because I don't want to touch it. And I use the 4x4s, this seems to be like a perfect size to, to use it for cleaning. And here it's just asking me if my prescription looks okay, which it does, so I'm just going to press OK. Sanitize my tray. I use it to work, put it on my lap so I can protect my pajamas from the Clorox and the alcabes and all the stuff that can ruin my pants. So while the machine is thinking again, it's going to set up, uh, what I need is two bags and a set of cassette, accept. this is my prescription. So I'm going to start with a small bag, this is very easy to open. I got to check for leaks, I got to make sure it's not expired and all that good stuff. So I'm going to put this over here. Um, all right, so it says gather supplies and insert cassettes. So what I want you to do next is to put this in there. while the machine is thinking. Okay, so now the machine says, uh, it's asking me what kind of bag I want to put on the top. So I want to put this big one in here. And I don't like to put it all over the heater because like I've, the bag gets, the liquid gets really hot. So I find that if I sit it back here, just barely touching it, that's a good temperature for me. So I put it there and the next step is just to connect the lines. This is the step that we have to be very careful because we try to avoid contamination. So this has to be done quick and make sure nothing is touching the ends. Go with the second line. I gotta get my drain bag. And this goes straight to the toilet. Alright, so this step it takes about six minutes. Um, so after I 
connect my line on the toilet. I use the time to wash my face, to brush my teeth, so I'll be ready after connecting to just slide to bed. But um, now it's asking me just to break the combs. So I do that. And clamp, close these clamps. And then press next. From this point on, it's going to be about three minutes until I have to connect. So I get my um, catheter out. I already. And that's when I use this thing to put it right here. Like this. And this. to scrub this we're supposed to um, scrub it for about a minute but since I have nothing to do I usually sit here and scrub it for the rest of the time <laughs> all right so it's just telling me that the bags are connected that it has recognized my two bags so it's all good to go press next okay so right now it's flushing it's making sure that the lines don't have any um, air and now it's going to the priming step. This is a very um, important step because if the lines doesn't get primed correctly, then we get air in the line, which causes us crazy shoulder pain, which I had a solution for that. I will be posting a video about it. Um, so here, I'm gonna press next, and usually you will be able to see when the water goes through all the line, all the way here to the top. If you can't see that, you can always prime it again. So that's what I do. It's the water going right there. So I saw it coming all the way over here, so I'm not gonna pre-prime it. That's good enough. So it says closer, I'm gonna close the clamp. Press OK. And now it's asking me to connect myself. So since I was cleaning my catheter or my cap the whole time, so now it's ready. I'm gonna dry it. And put it right here. Um, I'm not afraid to go wash my hands. I usually wash it three or four times during the whole process. And we do I do my best not to touch the ends. Never touch it actually. Alright, so now it says um, to open my line and open. The blue line. So now I'm connected. Press next. And the machine is going to try to get an initial drain, which I never leave anything uh, inside me. So I don't have anything inside. If I don't have anything, it will hurt. Um, so I just bypass it. Alright. And that's it. So now I'm connected, um, I don't have any pain, the, the liquid is going to start going into my peritoneal cavity. Like I say, it doesn't hurt. Um, sometimes at the end, uh, what is called the drain pain, um, a lot of people who use this type of machines feel it, I feel it sometimes. But other than that, it's pretty comfortable, I um, no longer need to use the, ma uh, the mask, <laughs> but um, that's about it, I go to bed and tomorrow morning when the machine is done it will also walk me through the steps very simple you gotta do the same thing uh, sanitize everything all the tools wash my hands put a mask on and then i can uh, safely disconnect and go on about my day